Hey guys, today I got an excellent tip for all you guys that are uh, do a lot of custom spot work. And if you do spot work that has flames on it, you know, let's say you do the very tip of a fender or something, and you know these are a bear to mask up individually. So on this uh, particular fender, this is an OCC chopper rear fender. I also got the front fender over here that I got to do. There's, I got to do probably about six to seven of these. I got to mask these up. My old way I used to do these is you outline the flame. I'm sure a lot of you guys have done this. And then you cut the, where it crosses over. And then you start with eighth inch. Put that in there. I'm just doing this quickly just to show you guys. I'm sure you've done this before. Fill this in, work your way backwards. The bigger area you go three quarter and then you put paper around here. So I came up with this idea about a year ago or so. I've done easily a couple thousand flame jobs. But this one, of course, we're talking about uh, uh, just spotting in like a rear tip or something, how to mask up these flame loads. So what I do on this particular job, this has bigger, uh, wider flame licks. I didn't do this paint job. Whoever paints for uh, OCC did this. What I do is just uh, take a nice sharp razor blade, clean piece of paper, cut it just like that. And what I do I pick the flame that I think best fits the one I just cut. Come right around the corner here. Of course, I would be a little more careful at picking out each flame. I'm just showing you here. Want to make sure you get the very tip on there. Bring that around the corner. Now, let's say you do one that's real... Uh, let's say you cut this way too skinny. So what you can do, of course that fits pretty good. So, well what you could do, I'm just going to show you, even though this fits decent, still a little short, you could take the other piece, Okay, you can see it's, if this was even wider, put this right on the corner. So you can use two pieces of, uh, two pieces of masking tape. Now this works good, the three quarter on the bigger flames. Okay, as you can see, this is what it would look like. This one I took my time and it doesn't take long at all. It sure beats outlining it and filling in the tails. So you can see where I had to use a little piece of 16th right here, but that's basically what it looks like when you're done. So, so these are bigger flames. Let's say we got a smaller flame job. Now this one I did do. This is my flame job. I did this, uh, this fender probably, uh, I did this probably about 12, 13 years ago. So a lot of times on the smaller flames, which I usually do smaller flames versus the bigger style here, I'll use quarter inch. So basically what I do, the same thing, except I use quarter inch. So let's say I had to chip down here. Of course I want to do probably about five to six flame looks. Put it right on there. This one just so happens to fit very, very nice. And plus you got another one you can use. Make sure you use a clean piece of paper so you don't get any debris underneath there. A nice skinny one. Make sure you start at the tip. Work your way up just like that. And that works out real good. And that way you don't have any crossovers and it takes half the time, even less than half the time. So, clean way to do it. You can also do this if you're custom painting flame jobs and you're 
masking up the flames doing the base coat last. You could do it this way too. So it fills in the gap. You can uh, use fine line too on jobs like this. I like using the masking tape because the fine line, like the quarter inch and eighth inch, if you do like 10 flame licks or something, you're doing that, by the time you're done, the first ones are starting to curl up on the tips because there's not much to grab hold to. So the quarter inch, the three quarter, you can even use half inch if you wanted to on some of the flame licks. But that's a quick and easy way to do this and get you all set up, get this all masked up so you can blend your area in. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks again.